Hi everyone, let's talk today about how to do a search in one of the library's databases. I'm here in Gale Power Search, which is one of the library's most commonly used databases. Gale Power Search is going to search many different journals and books to find you results. Many of the library databases are published by Gale, so they all work in the same way. If you know how to search in one Gale database, you know how to search in all Gale databases. I'll start by typing my search term here in the search box. Today, I'm looking for sources about Marie Curie. Once I hit submit, I'm going to see all of my results. The Gale databases do divide up sources by content type, magazine article, journal articles, books, news, etc. So you will only be able to look at one content type at a time. Let's say for today, I'm interested in finding some academic journal articles about Marie Curie. I have over 15,000 academic journal articles about Marie Curie, which is way too many. I will need to filter down my search. On the side of your screen, you are going to see some filters that you can use to narrow down your search. One of my favorite features of the Gale databases is the search within feature. I did my initial search for Marie Curie, and now I am going to search within my search. Under filter your results, you can see, you can click on search within, which will allow you to search within your results. Marie Curie is famous for discovering two elements on the periodic table, polonium and radium. I'm going to add polonium as a search term so that I can narrow down my search a little bit more. There are a few other ways that I can narrow down my search. I can narrow down my search by publication date if I was interested in articles that were published during a certain time period. I could filter by a subject term, which are going to be the different terms that my articles are tagged to, almost like hashtags. I could filter by document type, since I see that some of my results are articles, but some of them also are book reviews. I could filter my search by publication title, if I knew the name of a journal that I wanted to find articles in. For today, I'm going to filter by document type, and I'm going to choose articles. Now that I'm down to 42 results, this is a way more manageable number to very quickly look through. I am going to click on this article here, A Test of Courage, Marie Curie and the 1911 Nobel Prize. Once I click on the link, I am taken into the article itself, which I can read through. Here at the top, you will see all of the citation information that you need to complete your MLA or APA citation, including the author's name, the title of the article, the publication date, the journal that this article was published in, volume number, issue number, and even the DOI. We have some great tools for you here where you can email this article to yourself, you can download it, you can print it out. You can also get a citation for this article in either MLA or APA format. However, make sure that you always double check the citation against the MLA or APA guide on the library's website because sometimes these auto-generated citations aren't perfect. Something that I really like about the Gale databases is that they're very good at finding you more sources. On some articles, you're going to have this explore box on the side. If you click on view all related articles, you will see more articles that are related to this one, which may be helpful for your research. If you have any questions about searching in any of the Gale databases, please feel free to ask a librarian.